I follow your career, you know, for many years, uh, the numbers say that you are the most successful Turkish uh, basketball coach in the history. However, in my opinion, it seems that uh, you are not getting the recognition that you deserve. Uh, do you feel a little bit, you know, misunderstood as a basketball coach or as a basketball person? No, so maybe from outside uh, you feel like this, but uh, in Turkey uh, there is many, many people that uh, respect my job. Uh, they love my character. Uh, of course, uh, it's not easy, uh, especially to be a strong coach, uh, local coach, because there is other teams uh, supporter that sometimes they are against you. But this is our life. I mean, rumors say that um, you don't have the best relationship with foreign players. You know, this um, follows all all career of yours. Yes, I believe that uh, all foreigners that uh, played in my team, they made uh, their best uh, season, their best career. Uh, like uh, last year, if you see that Micic, uh, Larkin, uh, Moerman, uh, Grostov, Simon, that they played uh, many, many years uh, in Euroleague in European, they made their best uh, season. Also in the past, players like uh, Lazme, Eric McCollum, Carlos Arroyo. So, and always I have an uh, excellent relation with them. It's maybe <laughs> probably because you don't hesitate to be hard on the, your players, you know. Especially last uh, week, you know, you were hard in the press conference on Misic because uh, he didn't play well, even though he's the best player of a fest this year. If he makes some mistake, uh, my job, uh, like a coach, is to find uh, some way to motivation, to give motivation to him. And uh, what I saw in the practice uh, that uh, last uh, two, three days, uh, he was the best uh, in the team. He was the best worker in the practice. Two years ago, when you took over uh, FES, you finished uh, with the last record in Euroleague. Last year, you managed to advance to the final of four after 18 years and to play the final. Uh, do you think that this achievement speaks for itself, you know, about uh, you know, how you worked in FS and how difficult it makes for you this season, you know, to continue in this level? Listen, two years ago when I came uh, to FS and I came to FS, it was half of the season and uh, still FS was in the last position and uh, there is no uh, way to change everything. So. But in the beginning of the last season, I changed everything. Only two or three players stay on the team and uh, we built a new team. Of course, it's not only, only me, with all my uh, staff and uh, club board president that uh, they believe to us, to our work, uh, scouting, and we made a great team. This year, of course, everything uh, will be more easy in one way, because it's the same team, 90%. But more difficult because now also we know that uh, everybody uh, are expecting us like a finalist of the Euroleague and in Turkey like the defending champions. You coached almost all the big Turkish clubs except Fenerbahce. <laughs> Why do you think? After that I worked uh, five years uh, in Galatasaray. So I am, and everybody knows that I am a big uh, supporter of the Galatasaray. I am a, a member of Galatasaray, and uh, my goal in the future uh, it will be uh, to be a president of the Galatasaray club. So I don't think that in the future I will have uh, any offer or any chance. Uh, to work uh, with uh, a fire wash. This had uh, also to do with the big conflict that you had with Jelko Bradovic or it was something personal between the, you two guys? No, nothing personal. So Jelko is uh, one of the best coach in the world and always uh, he had uh, big teams and now in the past five years he is coaching he is a coach in Fenerbahce and I was coach many years in Galatasaray, that we played uh, two or three times uh, final in uh, Turkey, 
And now I'm in FS that uh, we played uh, last year, only last year, I think 14 or 15 games. All games is derby. So it's a derby between uh, two clubs and of course between two head coaches that are coaching these clubs. I, I have uh, all the respect with uh, Jalko, he's a very good person, uh, very good coach. Which was the last time that uh, you won in Athens or in Piraeus? Because FS, it's been almost for four years. I believe that uh, I won uh, two or three years ago with Galatasaray uh, in uh, Piraeus. Uh, now it's time to win uh, again. How do you see Olympiacos this year? The fact that uh, Zenit and Maccabi won here uh, makes tomorrow's game for you a must win? No, I don't believe. This Euroleague, many teams uh, take a some uh, important uh, and surprise results on the road. Olympiakos show uh, its capacity to beat uh, Moscow, in, uh, to beat Ceska in Moscow. Uh, but OK, they lost uh, last game against Maccabi. It was, I watched the game, of course, when I get the preparation. It was a strange game because in the beginning of the game, when you saw the first quarter of the game, uh, you think that uh, Olympiakos came from Moscow with a momentum. big momentum, big yeah. confidence and uh, they will win, uh, they won the game by uh, 15, by 20. But immediately in the second quarter changed everything and they lost the game. I believe it happens because the teams are not 100% uh, ready yet. Any teams are not ready. Olympiakos? Oh, so Olympiakos is not ready because they change uh, the two players. They already come uh, last week. Uh, they changed the coach after one week. So it's not easy. Every new player, uh, till that you involve the player on the team chemistry, past time also with Singleton. In the beginning, we had a problem to involve. Now it's OK. Now we start to understand the system and uh, he played regular. I believe that also Olympiakos, OK, they have some uh, important player, uh, high capacity player, experience, uh, Spanulis, Printesis, Molutino. But you can't, the basketball now, you must play with uh, nine, ten players. Yes. So this is the problem.